Hello there and welcome to the August 2012 edition of Media Sales Monthly. It looks like there's optimism in the air among media sales managers and their account executives. In a recent AdMall study, 83% of sales managers and 82% of reps say that overall revenue will increase in 2012. While these numbers look pretty good, they're down just a bit from projections made late last year. Meanwhile, 23% of managers and 29% of sales reps are projecting revenue increases of more than 10%. Unfortunately, not everyone has such a rosy outlook. One in 10 sales managers actually expect revenue to be down in 2012 compared to last year. Expected declines in real estate and recruiting advertising are signs that the U.S. economy is still trying to gain traction. But back to growth, there's a general sense among media sales pros that ad spending will be up in three categories. The political, automotive, and healthcare categories are all expected to spend more this year. So where are the opportunities? Managers and sellers both agree that digital is a bit easier to sell than it was six months ago. But the challenge with digital is understanding how it will benefit advertisers. Managers and account executives mostly agree that's an area for improvement. Knowing as much as you can about your customer can make the sales process so much easier. Adology Research recently completed a study of vehicle shoppers in the U.S. Among the findings, far more consumers plan to buy a new vehicle and far fewer are shopping for a used car or truck. New vehicle shoppers increased 64% from last year and used vehicle shoppers declined by 55% from last year. New vehicle shoppers are motivated by the need to replace older vehicles. In fact, one in three consumers will replace a car or truck that's more than 10 years old. Three out of four new vehicle shoppers are married. About half of these consumers have kids younger than 10 years old. Seven out of 10 new vehicle shoppers use smartphones, and they use them as part of the buying process. Popular usage includes taking a photo of a vehicle they're considering. When it comes to what influences new vehicle shoppers, some interesting facts come to light. 82% of all vehicle shoppers say their significant other is an important source of information about their purchase. But automotive advertising is more influential on a consumer's purchase than friends, parents, siblings, or coworkers. Media reps who are truly consultative sellers should take note of available consumer data and share the highlights with your prospects and clients. If you're new to co-op advertising, or if you're not using it consistently or properly, you may be missing out on a great source of revenue. Using co-op dollars can help you find new business and get more revenue from your existing clients, as more and more programs are being expanded to cover digital advertising. Yeah, you'll have to deal with some paperwork, but the rewards are there for you if you follow these best practices. When you're in front of a prospect, sell the benefits of advertising first. Then you can use co-op as a way to get new new or additional ad revenue. Once your client is interested in this new source of money to spend, make sure you follow the rules. Getting prior approval isn't always quick, so give yourself plenty of lead time. Your client will need documentation that the ads ran, so be prepared to get it for them as soon as possible. And if you can establish direct relationships with manufacturer reps, they can lead you to even more opportunities to get co-op funds. Learn about best practices in co-op advertising and you won't leave any money on the table. That's it for this edition of Media Sales Monthly. I'm Douglas Sells. 